Hey YouTube, let's do a shrimp update. January 2017. Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, welcome back and uh, we're going to do a shrimp update for January here. Uh, let's just get started with the, uh, the rack here. Um, the low grade Crystal Reds, A through S grade, they're doing as good as always. I've um, been selling quite a few of them lately, but I got a ton of babies in here, a ton of juvies, and, uh, and some adults. Um, right now, as you can see, they're eating off of one of these uh, new shrimpy pops that are getting to be kind of popular. I just stuck it in before I started here, so maybe by the end of the video they'll have this whole thing covered um, with shrimp. Looks kind of cool when that happens, but... You can see all sorts of shrimp along the sides and all over the place in there, just tons of babies. This tank is just thriving like always, so um, I try not to touch it too much because um, I don't want to screw things up. Next door here is uh, what's left of the Thai Bee Project. I've got two Thai Bee, two or three, yeah there's three of them there. Three Thai Bees left and then one um, that looks like a CRS. Actually there's four Tybees. There's another one behind that too. There may be a few more in here, but typically I don't see many more than actually two, so I'm kind of surprised to see four here. That's pretty cool. Um, so we're going to figure out, I've got some new, uh, new substrate cycling right over here. These two tanks that are going to um, replace this tank and this tank. So we'll get uh, get the new substrate in there, throw these guys in there, and uh, let them let them settle in, and then we'll figure out what's going to happen in here. Um, maybe throw in another tiger and another PRL or Crystal Red or Taiwan B or something, and see what we can't come up with. So anyway. Um, next door here are the Crystal Reds, a little bit higher grade Crystal Reds. There's been some breeding going on in here. There's a few babies as you can see in the Petri dish. Um, so that's a good sign. Um, there's some towards the back as well. But I've got high hopes for this, especially after we change out the substrate and get the pH back down to where it should be. You know, things should be good. This tank here, um, I recently changed out the substrate and I've got the SL Aqua Soil going on in here. Uh, this is the PRL tank. Not sure what's going on with this guy right here. But uh, the rest of them are, seem to be doing good. There's a buried female in here somewhere. Maybe it's this one right here. No, she's not buried. Or he, whatever. I don't know if it's a he or she. Um, but yeah, um, they've had some babies and the babies seem to be surviving. There's a few different sizes in here as you can see. Um, some juvies that have made it from the, uh, from the last uh, group of babies. So um, things seem to be turning around a little bit in this tank, which is good. Um, and oh, I've also got um, a, a Pinto and a Pinto Michelin in here that I got um, kind of off a of trade. Here's the female Pinto. They're just temporarily in here until I find a, a place to house them. And the male Michelin is... I can't find them right now. Anyway, there's a male Michelin in there. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. I really want to, at some point here, get into Pintos. So, um, that's on the horizon, I guess. So, Taiwan Bees, top tank here has just not been doing good at all. I'm not sure what what to do here, what to think. Um, they hadn't been doing real good um, before I changed out the substrate. and But they were doing better than I thought. When I changed out the substrate and, and grabbed all the shrimp out of here and added them all out, there were about 40 which is more than what I thought, more than what I typically normally see. So a lot of them were hiding. And there were babies in there at that time. And there still is a couple babies in here right now. 
but I don't know what to say. Things just aren't go doing good in this tank. I've got brand new substrate in here now, so everything should be good as far as that goes. I don't know if I have some kind of bacteria or infection of some sort or what, but I don't know what to say. I've <laughs> spent a lot of money in this tank and it's just not working out. But then on the flip side, the Taiwan bees down here are thriving. They're doing great. A lot of breeding going on. Um, you know, I've got a combination of blue bolts, red bolts, pandas, shadow pandas in here. Um, there's a lot of uh, more white looking. Um, these came from the red bolt. Some of them have a little bit of pink to them. Some of them are pure white. I know that that pure white with Taiwan bees isn't typically desired, but I kind of like it, and I'm going to continue to let them let them go. I may at some point fish out all the pure white ones and put them in their own tank, but for now that's what's going on. This is the female up here, Red Bolt, that, that, that um, throws those off for offspring. I think there's one more. I think that's a female too, right on the top end of the petri dish there, outside of it. So anyway, that's what's going on here. Like I say, things are doing really well. Um, these are all from different people. There's four or five different people now that I bought Taiwan bees out of in this tank, and it's just kind of a mixture, and it's doing really well. So let's hope it continues. And uh, at some point, I should be able to have Taiwan bees available for you guys. Tons of babies down there, too, which is great. So that's that tank. <coughs> We'll go over here to the two four by or two four rack four. You know what I'm trying to say. There's eight tanks over here. Two racks of four. Up on top here are the. We'll continue, I guess, to call them Savage Reds. I haven't mixed them with anything, so they still are from that line. Um, just not. They they breed a little, but nothing ever seems to survive. But there is a buried female in here right now. Um, I don't know if you can see right here, but um, so we'll just continue to watch this and see what happens. At one point I was thinking about um, mixing these in with my pure, or not my pure, <laughs> I was gonna say pure red line, my painted fire reds, but I think for now I'll continue to just let them do their own thing and see what happens. Blue bolts, blue bolts, boy, I'm having problems today. Royal Blue Tigers are doing good. I'm a little low right now. I've been selling a lot of them, or I had sold a lot of them lately. And uh, so for the time being, I, I'm not selling anymore. I'm gonna let these this colony kind of rebuild itself. It's, a, it's an important shrimp to me. It's the first tiger that I was able to really breed and breed with tons of success. So I don't want to lose this colony, so I really am going to let this build back up before I start selling. You sell too many shrimps sometimes, the next thing you know, you're, you're low on females or whatever, and, uh, and your colony just doesn't thrive like it once did. So that's the story there. They're doing great. Um, down below here are the uh, Painted Fire Reds. These are ones that I had previously and recently I got about a hundred more from a local guy who was getting out of the hobby. So you can see there's just tons of them in here. Um, the adults obviously have a lot better red to them, but as the babies and juvies grow out, they should uh, become really nice and red. So I could probably sell off some of these right now if, if someone's interested. Um, hit me up, my email will be below in, in the description section below the video if you're interested. Same with the crystal reds. Crystal blacks, two grades over here. You know, they're just they're doing okay, but there's not any breeding going on that I've noticed. So I'm just going to continue to see what happens. Actually, I do see a little baby over by that leaf skeleton. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but so we'll continue to see what happens with these guys. 
two different kind of grades in here. There's a red. I don't know how that got in there. We'll have to pull them out. Aura Blue Tigers down here. Still doing the same. Somewhere in here there's two of them. There's one in the Choya Wood there. Um, they're pretty much adults now. I'm assuming they're both males. There hasn't been any breeding behavior. We'll see if we decide if we want to move on and get more of them at some point. Green Jays are doing well, breeding like crazy. These are available if somebody needs some. Hit me up, I can sell some of these off. Kind of hard to see with the black substrate here. But if you have white substrate with the jades, their colors don't come out as, as much, so you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Up above here are red, red rillies and some kind of orangish shrimp morph that I've got. We're just going to call these red rillies and orange neos. Got a ton of these. Um, I can sell off some of these if, if anyone's interested. But they're doing really good. Sorry, I'm kind of recovering from a cold here. My voice and stuff is off a little bit. Up here are the Blue Dreams. They're doing really well. Can't be happier with these. Hope they continue to breed for me. Um, but uh, had a couple of sets of babies now, and they're, as you can see, they're growing up to be, uh, you know, to kind of be in the juvie stage of their lives. Really happy with these. So yeah, we will head upstairs and show you the last few tanks that are in my office. Alright, so here are the, I'm going to call them painted fire reds, but they're not all. Some of them are just regular cherry grade um, in the 90 gallon planted tank. There's a few hundred in here um, all around the place, but there's a bunch of them here eating some food. These are doing well. Really enjoy these shrimp. Kind of all over the place. And then down below are my yellow neos. The colony I had was doing fairly good. I guess you'd call it, it was, it was really stable. Not producing a ton of offspring, but not dying off. A little bit here and there. And then the same guy that I got the painted fire reds downstairs from also had some yellow neos, so I got like 60 from him and add it to this tank. Um, there's like three or four different molts in here right now, so that's a good sign. Um, some of the ones that I had previously were buried, I think. I'm at a really weird angle here. This is down on my floor. So I can't tell for sure, but this one might be buried. If it's not, forgive me, I can't really see from where I'm sitting on the floor here. I just have the camera kind of down there. But maybe that's not the one. Anyway, so I've got high hopes for these guys. I'm hoping that things go well. These are from a few different lines now, a few different people. I bought some from a few different people out on the shrimp Facebook pages and that type of thing. Over here, we'll stay down on the floor. This tank is going to get taken down. And uh, I'm going to put some active substrate in here. This is what is left of the Tangerine Tiger tank. There's like two in here. I recently got ten more. I had a colony that was just starting to show signs of thriving. And then I ran into a problem. I think I told you about that on, with the filter and the temperature. And they pretty much all died off. Then I got like ten more recently to add to the five or so that I had left from the prior colony. I'm down to like two now. Can't even find any of them in here right now actually, but I did see two in here yesterday. So I think I'm done with Tangerine Tigers for a while. Um, I just can't seem to keep them alive for whatever reason. Next time I try them, I will try them with an active substrate instead of an inert substrate. Um, you know, peop some people say they'd use the inert substrate and keep them in Neo parameters. Other people keep them in Caridina, like Crystal Red parameters. 
Um, up, up here then is kind of my junk tank or call tank, whatever you want to call it. Some Neos and Tigers in here from stuff downstairs. Mostly stuff that I pulled out of Green Jade tank. Just some calls that didn't look very good that came out of the Green Jade tank. There's some other stuff too. Some stuff that came out of maybe like my Red Really tank and that. I guess there's no Tigers in here, but so they're all Neos. But they're doing decent. They're all kind of over the back sponge filter area right now. and Stuff like that. A little piece of food that I just threw in before. So. so there's been some breeding in here as you can see too. There's some smaller babies, that type of thing. So that's really all the tanks for now. So we'll close the video out here by looking at the Taiwan B tank again. I just want to thank everyone who watches these videos and everybody who subscribes to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe and um, you'll see regular updates on my shrimp tanks, my fish tanks, and uh, my reef tank as well. Also some different types of videos and interjected here and there. Um, but yeah, I'd love to have you a subscriber. Um, make sure you comment below and hit the like button. Um, share this video too if you would. Uh, help me get a little more exposure but yeah if you have any questions too let me know and if you're interested in any of the shrimp that I said that I'd uh, be able to let go for sale just email me my email will be below too thanks for watching until next time take care